<clears throat> Four, three, two, one, boom. Four, three, two, one. That little light at the end of the room right there. Very good. Now, here's the interesting thing. I'm going to ask you, sir, just to put your hand out. Put your hand out and push down on my hand. Push down on my hand harder, harder, harder. Sleep! All the way in, dropping down all the way, relaxed and sleeping. I'm going to ask you to put them right back here. Very good. I'm going to ask you just to push your hands out like this. Very good. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It feels good. Just push your hands out like this, if you don't mind. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Stare at that light and focus. Very good. Focus deeper. Three, two, one. Sleep. All the way in. Dropping down. Sleep. Beautiful. Very good. Some people are not going to react. Now, just watch your hands go down. Hand goes down. Up. Down. And now, sleep. Beautiful. Very good. Now, this next person. Very good. We're going to do something. This is a new induction that we developed for TEDx. Actually, it's called a TEDx induction. Just stare at that spiral. I'm going to ask you to put your hands up like this, like an X. That's right, except facing the other way. Beautiful. Now, stare at the light. Take a deep breath in and relax. Hands a little more straight. Very good. As I count you down, I'd like you to notice that your heart is beating because you're on stage. All these people are looking at you. Look at the light and just focus on the light. Take a deep breath in, relax, and sleep all the way in. Very good. Rock them down. All the way. <clears throat> Four, three, two, one, boom. Thank you. Thanks for doing this, man. Really appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome. It's very good to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. And thanks for not lighting this place on fire. You're welcome. <laughs> That's how coming does, later. How does one, um, just in the middle of doing all the things you do, uh, create cars, uh, rockets, all this stuff you're doing, constantly innovating, decide to just make a flamethrower? Where do you have the time for that? Well, the flame, I wouldn't put, wouldn't put a lot of time into the flamethrower. <laughs> the, this was an off. That's how coming does, later. How does one, um, just in the middle of doing all the things you do, uh, create cars, uh, rockets, all this stuff you're doing, constantly innovating, decide to just make a flamethrower? Where do you have the time for that? Well, the flame, I wouldn't put, wouldn't put a lot of time into the flamethrower. <laughs> the, this was an off-the-cuff thing. And um, so we have, I have sort of like, it's sort of, a, sort of a hobby company called The Boring Company. Uh, which started out as a joke, uh, and we decided to make it real um, and, and dig a tunnel under L.A. And then, dig, then people, other people asked us to dig tunnels. And there was only one thing. On, it was just boringcompany.com slash cap or hat. That's it. And, and then we, we sold the hats, limited, limited edition. It just said, The Boring Company. And then I'm a big fan of Spaceballs, the movie. And in Spaceballs, yogurt um, goes through the merchandising section, and they have a flamethrower in the <laughs> merchandising section of Spaceballs. And he, like the kids love that one. Uh, that's the line. section <laughs> of space bulls and he, like the kids love that one uh that's the line uh, when he pulls out the flamethrower it's like we should do a flamethrower so we does anybody tell you no does anybody go elon um maybe for yourself but selling a flamethrower the liabilities all the people you're selling this device to what kind of unhinged People are going to be buying a flamethrower in the first place. Do we really want to connect ourselves to all these potential arsonists? Yeah, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible. Shouldn't buy one. I don't. I said, don't buy this flamethrower. Don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. That's what I said. But still, mm. people bought it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's, you I build it, not they will stop come. I, I, I said, don't buy it. It's a bad idea. How many did you make? You. It's dangerous. It's got. It's wrong. <laughs> 
don't buy it. And still, people bought it. I just couldn't stop them. How many did you make? How do you do all that other shit? Like, how do you? How do you? How does one decide to fix LA traffic by drilling holes in the ground? And who do you even approach with that? Like, when you have this idea, who do you talk to about that? I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be successful, or sort of, you know, I mean, it's just like asserting that it's going to be successful. But so far, I've lived in LA for 16 years, and the traffic has always been terrible. Um, and so, I don't see any other like ideas for improving the traffic. Um, so in desperation, we're going to dig a tunnel and maybe that tunnel will be successful and maybe it won't. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah. I'm not trying to convince you it's going to work. And are the people I that mean, you're- Or anyone. But, but you're, you are starting this though. This is actually a project you're starting to implement, right? Yeah, yeah no, we've, we've dug um, about a mile. It's quite long. It takes a long time to walk it. Yeah. Now, when you're doing this, what, what is the ultimate plan? The ultimate plan is to have these in major cities and anywhere there's mass congestion and just try it out in L.A. first? Yeah, it, it's, it's in L.A. because uh, I mostly live in L.A. That's the reason. It's a terrible place to dig tunnels. This is a, one of the worst. Yeah. That's him. Clean over there. All right, you guys, so okay, okay, we get a lot of traffic here in California, so we're very used to that. So don't worry, just sit down. Do not, oh, uh oh, oh, no, this is a big one. Oh. <laughs> 